This episode of Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Our second guest today is Mark DeVink calling in via Skype. Uh, Mark DeVink is our Director of uh, Product Development at the Maker Shed, and we welcome him to the show via Skype. Hi, Mark. Hey, Becky. Hi, Lamar. How you doing? Hello. <laughs> We're doing great, and we thank you for being here. Um, we wanted to talk to you about the awesome Learn to Solder program at Maker Fair. What can you tell us about the history of learning to solder at Maker Fair? Well, we've, we've always had, to some extent, soldering at Maker Fair. Um, even the first one, I believe we had Mitch Altman there um, doing some of his kits and, and, you know, teaching a few people how to solder. Um, it really started to take off, I think it was around the second Austin Maker Fair, where we had some tables set up and we really started teaching people, you know, how this, this really useful skill and how to, how to solder electronics. And, you know, it's amazing how many people are almost afraid of a hot soldering iron or, and, and also how many people just want to learn how to do it. Well, as the years went on, we started realizing that, you know, putting together um, kits is great, but it does take some time. Um, maybe we could teach 50 or 100 people at a Maker Faire uh, how to solder. So we ended up developing our own little learn to solder kit, which I think Becky has right there. I have one here, too. You can pull it up on the overhead. Yeah, there it is. That one? Yeah, so we have these, these pins are really awesome. and. Uh, and you can solder them really quickly, right? That's the idea. At Maker yeah, the Fair. whole idea was that we want we want to we want to engage um, everyone at Maker Fair. We want to teach them something new. Like, what's better than to leave Maker Fair with a new skill that you can use across so many different aspects? Like you said, plumbing and jewelry and electronics. And um, so, I developed this kit as something that most people can put together in about five minutes, maybe ten minutes. So now, instead of teaching about a hundred people how to solder under Maker Fair. Um, the first one we had was in San Mateo last year. We actually had 2,800 people go through and learn to solder at wow. Maker. Wow. Um, followed by Detroit, which was about 1,800 people. And then New York City was right behind San Mateo at 2,500 people. So we're in the neighborhood of like 7,000 people went through and learned how to solder um, with a, a lot of help from Mitch Altman and Jimmy Rogers and you know a bunch of wonderful makers that, and volunteers that we all have working in the maker shed. That's great. Well, that, I mean, that's fabulous that you're able to get that many people through and uh, have everyone learn to solder. I mean, I know that they were a big hit whenever I was walking around at Maker Faire, anybody would ask like, oh, where did you get that pin? Oh, they're very blinky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a smart choice to use that, uh, the self color changing. Everybody LGBT. loves LEDs. <laughs> Especially when they change colors. Yeah, that's so crazy. Um, yeah, the idea is really to grow the community. You know, like let's get more people you know, learning how to solder and, and empowering these people. So you developed the this pin. This was your first uh, Eagle project, right? Your first real. Uh, it it was actually my first. Um, there, there was an ulterior motive to developing the pin. Um, I have done a lot of product design um, in the past, but I hadn't done a lot with electronics. Or I should say that I did a lot of work with electronics, but I would always have a very talented uh, electrical engineer at my side um, who would develop those uh, boards and electronics. So I wanted to do something from scratch. So this was a great way for me to learn, you know, about uh, Eagle, but actually more importantly, how to actually get things bagged and shipped and manufactured and sourcing of parts. And, it, you know, it's actually, it's not very difficult, but there, you learn a lot of things. So this was really um, helpful so that I could go on to design, you know, other things like the Maker Shield and some other projects that we're working on now. Yeah, well, that's a really good. Ex I'm excited for the shed to start developing their own, their own kits. The Maker Shield's a really good step up from once you learn to use this one, right? And then, then you can switch on, switch over to your Proto Shield or the Maker Shield or something to get. Because I mean, it's the natural step to go from breadboarding electronics to learning to solder and making your projects more permanent. Yeah, is there? Uh, there's a new badge, right, for this year? It's got to there, be. There, there is a new badge. Um, right now, the boards are being made. Um, I have some of the parts here. I don't have the boards. I'd love to show you, but we also kind of want to keep it a secret. Um, I will tell you that as much as I love this badge, because I really, it is a fun badge. I'm really excited about the next board. Um, it will be in San Mateo, so make sure you come on by the Maker Shed, and we'll teach you how to put it together. Maker Faire is the 21st and 22nd of May at the San Mateo Expo Center, so that'll be really excellent. Um, what are you working on now, Mark? Well, we're, we're working really hard on developing a lot more kits. 
um, from projects in the magazine and, and a lot of makers that we know. And, um, you know, we're always looking for new and great kits to either produce ourselves or uh, to sell for other makers. Sweet. Well, thanks, Mark. It's thanks for having me. to have you on the show.